A lot of schools have started buying Chromebooks because they're easy to use, boot up quickly, and link directly with Google Apps for Education logins that many teachers and students already have. The main difference between a Chromebook and a laptop is that on a Chromebook, almost no data is stored on the actual device. It all goes in the cloud. That's why the Chromebook starts up so quickly. It's also why the Chromebook physically can't get viruses. There's nothing on the device to get infected. It also means the Chromebook really has to have an internet connection to function properly. There are some elements of the device that will function without the internet, but not many. The home screen of the Chromebook is very simple. There's the equivalent of the start menu on a PC. The apps menu shows all of the Chrome apps that the user has downloaded. Another great part of the Chromebook is that since it's all web-based, I could log out of this device and log into another one and all of my apps, information, and even preferences like my wallpaper background would all be identical to this device. That's why these are great for classroom sets. The dock at the bottom is just a shortcut bar. You can drag any of the app icons from the app menu to the dock. The other side of the screen has the settings information. This is where you go to log out, check the wireless connection, change the volume, etc. There are a lot more settings that you can change. One I really recommend is to have all students go to the detailed settings menu and check the box to have the Chromebook lock when it goes to sleep or when the lid is shut. That way no one can come along after that student and change anything on his or her Google account. If you're sharing a class set and the next class is able to open the Chromebooks and automatically see the previous student's account, that could potentially cause some problems. Checking this little box ensures it won't be an issue. There are all kinds of apps that you can download from the Chrome Web Store. You can do this simply by clicking the icon for the store or simply by searching in the search bar. I'm going to look for the student app for Socrative. Here it is, and I don't even have to open the website. I get the option right from the search results to download the Chrome app. 